The dying words of Lord Helm stun Elliwood beyond belief. Darren the Marquess of Laos knows all. Despite the pain it brings, Elliwood takes this newfound knowledge to heart and sets out for Laos once again. On the way to Laos, he travels through a Kaelin village. Elliwood and his party decide to rest there for a night. <sighs> Chapter 13X, The Peddler Melinus. So, hello everybody, what is going on? It's today's Kibish Monkey here, and welcome back to some more Fire Bloom, The Blazing Blade, The Blazing Sword. If I sound annoyed, it's because I am. This is my third attempt at this mission. I lost Elliewood in the first one, I lost Hector in the second one. My gosh, I'm getting tired of restarting this recording. Hopefully, third time's the charm. But here we go. Last time, we failed to save Lord Hellman after making it to Santa Rus. And now we must continue forward to Laos to see what Lord Darren has to say. Ah, dark already. We'll have to stop here for the night. We'll set out for Laos at the first sign of sunlight. Marcus, prepare the camp. Yes, my lord. So, this is Caleb. You think we ought to present ourselves to Lord Housen? We're simply passing through, so I don't see the need. I'm curious how Lindis is getting along, though. Lindis... Marques Kaelin's granddaughter. Oh, her. The missing heir who dealt with Lundgren last year. Didn't you have something to do with that? Hmm. And? The granddaughter? Is she a beauty? A beauty? She's... I don't... She's... I think it must be her sake heritage. She's... Striking. Striking? Too bad, isn't it? What? That we don't have time to see her, lover boy. No, Lindis and I are... We're not... You are not? Then why are you getting so worked up? Hector! Don't make me angry. <laughs> you are so much fun to tease. Huh? What was that? Did you hear something? It was a scream. Someone's being attacked. Do we help? Of course! Oh no! Someone help! Her. Stupid old fool. He's kept us running in circles for hours. My... my valuable merchandise. What are you going to do? Hey, look at this. The old fool's wealthy. <laughs> Our lucky day. Eh, Puzan? Let go! Let go! Will you let go? What a racket. Puzan, can we get rid of this simpleton? I suppose so. There's no reason to let him live. Oh my! Yeah! Release him! Ooh, I told you to let the man go. If you move quickly, we'll let you live. Ha! A pair of dandies like you? You know what I think? Living off your parents' names prancing about, I despise you. Come on, don't hold back. We'll kill you all. Well, certainly you've done, successfully done that twice now. Ahee! You, the, they call you Isaac, am I right? I am Merlinus, a humble lowly merchant. I know nothing of combat. Please, you must protect me. Well, let us not waste time and do it as that was asked of us. Let's go ahead and let's do some good damage to the Hollywood. And make sure to KO the bandits. Here we go. <sighs> Should I, uh, let's move. Fuck, try it here. I don't know, it came to my head, something about pineapple, that's all I remember. It says pineapple juice, pineapple, sherbet, strawberry, banana, banana, fat, green, and golden. Okay. Let's go on, let's attack. Use our sword. Yes. Keep going, no, it's fine, I'm hearing you. Sunny already interrupted me, so it doesn't matter. Let's go on, let's do whatever damage you can. Stand guard as best as you can with Marcus. Ooh, Sarah. So we right here, we'll have Hector move along right there. Move Guy from right here. Move Dorcas along here. Move Oswin along the right. Have Matthew accompany. And we'll have Sarah remain close here. Alright, let's see. Snag swing. Go ahead and attack the snag as well. You're gonna attack Guy, which is a terrible idea really. Oh, you got a crit. All right, cool. So, guy taking care of the bandit pretty quickly. <laughs> Go attack guy as well, which is probably not a good idea, but yeah, your decision. There we go. Guy doing some good damage. Not enough to KO, but pretty good damage. You're gonna attack Mar um, Bartray. Probably should have had his other item equipped, but yeah, it's fine. 
You did pretty good. There you go, Bartray got a level up, which is very good. Nice. Level 6, so he's got a boost in HP, strength, and skill. Uh, the level up differences are always going to change every time, so I don't even know half the time what's gonna, what uh, upgrades I'm going to get. Okay, you're going to attack that snag, which is fine. Attacking that snag as well. Let's see, attack low in, avoid it, swing, and boom, there we go. Get some good experience on low in. Let's see. Let's have Lowen move up and attack this guy since he's got an axe. Boom. Avoid. There we go. I'll have Bartray attack using his iron axe for more accuracy. There we go. Nice job. And his weapon level increased. It's pretty nice. Move uh, Ellie Wood across so you can attack this guy. And you just got crit, sir. That is unfortunate. But oh well, I'll take the damage. I'll take the hit. There we go. Open things up a bit. Move Marcus to stand guard right here. Have Rebecca stand guard about here. Sarah remain close. We'll have Guy finish this guy. Finish this bandit off. You just got crit for no reason, that is unfortunate. There we go. And we'll have Dorcas move along here and attack this. And we'll have Hector keep up. We'll have Matthew move right here. We'll have Oswin stay right there. I'll probably should have him attack. Ah, actually no, I'm okay with the weapon I got. I don't want to change it out for the javelin, the lance is way better. Alright, let's go. It's gonna barely do any damage. I'm gonna swing, do some good damage back. Let's see who's gonna attack us now. Anybody gonna attack Matthew? No, you're just gonna open that way up. You're gonna attack Oswin as well, so you're just softening him up for, well, anyone else to attack, basically. There we go. Attack that snag and open that way up. And you're gonna attack Hollywood, which is fine. So, want Elliot to get any experience he can take, because he's definitely going to be needing it. Let's go ahead and let's have Lowen attack. Boom. There we go. Lowen, take any experience you can. Get a level up. Perfect. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Level 5, you get to boost in HP, speed, luck, and resistance. Perfect. We'll have Elliot. Move right here. Actually, I'll have him move right here into the forest and have him use a vulnerary because he needs one. There we go. I have Marcus attack this. So now the way forward is open. We'll have Bartray stay right there. Have Rebecca move along this end. Of Sarah heal Bartray because he certainly needs it. There we go. And her weapon level increased. That means she'll be able to heal us more. We'll have Matthew attack this guy. Boom. Some good experience. Oh, almost enough for a level up. That's fine though. We'll have Oslin move forward and attack this guy. Because. Ah, that missed! Damn it. Alright. Well, at least you tried. That's okay. Uh. Let's have Hector and Dorcas move along this path and have Guy keep up. And I don't think there's much else to do. I'm gonna keep Bartray right there and attack Oswin. Poor mistake, really. There we go. It went down pretty smoothly. Let's see. Attack the snag. It's fine. And attack Elliewood go and you are dead goodbye <laughs> there you go Elliwood's showing off doing a backflip and getting a level up which is pretty nice boom he's level four gets a boost in hp strength skill and luck that's gonna be really helpful let's go ahead you're gonna attack uh, matthew he's gonna avoid it and a swing boom swing again nice do all the damage you can get a level up 
Perfect. Level 3, you get a boost in skill, which is pretty helpful. You're going to attack Oswin, which I don't think is a good idea, but that's fine. Boom. Oswin's so close to a level up, that's fine. You're going to attack Eliwood as well. Jeez, everybody really wants to attack Eliwood. That's fine, it's kind of understandable. You got more damage on our side, so Eliwood's able to take this bandit out pretty quickly. Hmm. Let's see. You can attack Matthew, as expected. Nice, you evaded though. Let's see, you're gonna attack Sarah. Ooh, that's no good. Hmm. Okay. Gonna have to move first. I'm gonna bring Marcus along up here to visit the town. Oh my, those ruffians are attacking you? Our village is in danger too. We talked it over and. Here, it's all the money we collected. If you if you chase off the bandits, well, it's yours. You get ourselves for free five thousand gold, which is pretty nice. Go ahead, can't move much further other than that. Go ahead and move lower in here and have him attack this guy. Boom, attack him. Yeah, take him down. We are looking pretty good. Nice job. We'll have Elliewood move up to. Let's see. There's no advantages or disadvantages along here. I say we'll just have Ellie Wood remain right here in the bushes. Uh, we'll have Guy move up, keep up. We'll have Dorcas remain in the lead. And we'll have Hector sit right back here. We'll have Sarah heal herself. There we go. Um, as for this situation. We'll have Matthew attack this guy, finish him off. There we go, good simple experience. We'll have Oswin finish this guy, hopefully, or at least do some good damage. You missed again. 69 accuracy, you would have thought he would have hit. Damn it, alright. Uh, guess we could have Rebecca move on down now. And Bartre move along over here. Alright, let's see how they move. So you're moving away as expected. You're probably going to attack Matthew. You're going to attack the snag and open that way. Yep, we can attack Matthew as expected. Jeez, we're having 69 accuracy. You sure hit every time, but for Oswin, it's difficult as hell. Which is just kind of frustrating. It's fine, we'll bring Marcus down here. Stand at the bridge as a guard. We'll have Oswin attack hopefully and land this time. Thank you. Holy crap. Here we go. Oswin gets that level up. He's been waiting for. It's level 10. He gets a boost in HP, strength, speed, defense, and resistance. Pretty good. We'll have Matthew move in and attack. Hopefully land it. Yes, there we go. Matthew finishing it off, getting some experience. Almost enough for a level up, but that's fine. Don't need it. Let's see. Becca... Of Rebecca, eh, I'll have Rebecca stay here. Rebecca's a good guard. I'll have Ellie Wood. Can't move too close because I already know what's ahead. I'll have, um, have as far as your sight goes. And we'll use this the Dragon Shield. There we go, so now our defenses increase in case we get attacked. I'm going to have Guy step forward and heal because he needs it. I'm not chancing on attacking. We we'll have Dorcas um, hide right here in the forestry. Use his axe. Boom! Do some good damage. Nice. They evaded the attack pretty well, so I ain't got much else to worry about. I'll bring Hector up right here. Have him wait along there. Have Bartre move in and wait. Have Lowen move along. And make sure he has his sword equipped. Uh, what's his health looking like? Yeah, I'll have him make sure his sword's equipped and have him use a vulnerary. Boom, there we go. Uh, Rebecca. Yeah, I know Rebecca ain't got much else to do except to just stay there. there we go. We're gonna attack Guy. We're gonna miss. He's gonna KO you. He's gonna super KO you. <laughs> 
go, gets a level up. Awesome, that's pretty helpful. Guy hits level 4, gets a boost, in a boost in strength and skill, which is awesome. Pretty good. That bandit's gonna keep running away and healing, if it can. And you're gonna attack Guy. <laughs> Looks like you've breathed your last. Breathed your last. However, it's fine. Ah, Guy missed. Damn it. I was hoping you would be able to get, get a hit off. Perhaps. You're gonna attack Guy, of course. It's gonna hit. Okay, Guy needs to move away and heal. Oh no, guy! No! I will be the best swordsman in all of Sake. Well, I have terrible luck, so I think after this I'm probably gonna have to redo this entirely. Which sucks, but that's fine. Oswin gets a heal up. I'm gonna have you move in and attack this guy. Yeah, Puzon do way more better. Boom. Go, you missed. Lillian doing some good damage at least. Um, hmm. I'll go on with Dorcas. Give Dorcas a shot. See how well Dorcas can do. No, he's low accuracy, but I had to give it a try. Nice. Missed. Double miss. That's okay, I guess. Um, Hector is at pretty much full health, so I'll have him move over here and actually attack this guy. You are the most annoying. Boom! Oh, you missed! What? You had high accuracy. Uh, this is getting very, very frustrating. Have you wait here, have Bartre move over here and attack from a distance. Boom! Oh, come on! Bartre! Anybody hits! Like, this is getting ridiculous! Marcus, you, you move in and please take care of this guy at least. Boom! It's fine, no matter. Yeah, just take care of him. My gosh, I need at least one win somewhere. Ugh, because this is getting infuriating. I lost a troop and I didn't want to. Oh well, it's fine. It's going to move up with uh, Matthew and Oshwis, or Oswin. There we go. All we can do is just hope. That's going to hit all the time. God damn it. Okay, cool. That killed. That killed. I don't know why it sounds so weird. That killed. KO'd, so we're looking pretty good. You're gonna attack Dorcas, of course, or Bartre, of course. Boom. Oh my god, Bartre went down too. <laughs> I'm done for. I'll be back though. Once I've healed, I'll be back. Bartre went down too. Damn it. Attack Hector. After he missed somehow, which. Uh, whatever. Let's go and let's have. Bellywood finish this. Go, he's at full. So let's attack this guy. Boom! Thank you, my gosh. Unbelievable. I was helpless to stop them. Went down. Gave us a good chunk of experience to get Ellie Wood to level up. Thank goodness. Level 5, HP, Strength, Speed, and Resistance. And let's have Hector hopefully finish this. Please. Thank you. My gosh, that's what should have happened the first time. There we go. Holy crap. <sighs> What's left to do? Last turn. Yeah, no, there's nothing left for us to do. Let's go on, let's end our turn. There we go. Oof. Blast. I won't forget this. Then you're smarter than you look. Get out of here. Are you alright? Hmm? Oh, uh, I've been saved. We've driven them off. Are you injured? No, not at all. As you can see, I'm as fine as it can be. As fine as it can be. I'm glad you to see that. We'll take our leave then. Let's go, Hector. Wait, a moment, please. A token of my thanks. Do not worry yourself. We did nothing to merit reward. That's right. We've no need of a peddler's joke. <laughs> a peddler Hector! Oops. Ahem. I am Merlinus. You'll find no other traveling merchant whose goods compare. Don't let your eyes fool you. I'm quite prosperous. Huh? You're a merchant? Books and knives and all that, eh? Hector, your manners are terrible. Merlinus, please, pay no mind to what this oaf has to say. No, of course not. I wasn't concerned at all. That's ahem. By the way, you two obviously come from highborn houses. Would you grant me the honor of your names? I am Eliwood, son of the Marcus Ferre. I am Hector, Marcus Ossia's brother. Goodness, Ossia, Ferre. 
the great houses in all of Lycia. Ah, to be saved by noble men such as yourselves. It is an honor beyond words. It's nice to appreciate, nice to be appreciated for a change. Lately, people just seem to want us dead. Tell me, Merlinus, what are your plans? Pardon? My plans, my lord? I plan to travel, I see, selling my merchandise, but it may not be possible in such dangerous times. If that's the case, why don't you come along with us? Hector, our travels will not be ending anytime soon. We've gained more people and more items, right? It might be good to have help of managing our things. Oh, now that is a splendid idea. Managing merchandise is my specialty, after all. Are you sure? Quite sure, my lord. To be honest, I've dreamt of working for a noble house. To have my fondest wish granted in such a way, I cannot stem these tears of joy. Lord Hector, Lord Elliwood, take me into your bosoms and keep me safe forever. Uh, thank you. Well met, Merlinus. We're, count we're counting on you. Now I've got some things I want you to carry. Yes, of course. Whatever you have, Merlinus will keep. Hopefully not so. Marcus, where's Bartray? He was gravely wounded in the last battle. He sends his apologies for falling to fulfill his duties, I see. This is what happens when an ally dies. That is not going to be the same though. I'm going to rerun this myself personally and make sure no one dies. Hope you guys did enjoy though. Hope you guys continue to enjoy. And I will of course be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out everybody.